Hi guys, so I'm starting off with NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. I'm going to apply this all over my lid and then blend that out with a brush. And then I'm going to set that with a black eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to take this purple color and apply this into my crease. This is the Morphe 35B palette. And then from the same palette, I'm going to take this purple, it's like a shimmer, not purple, it's a shimmering pink. And I'm going to apply this into the inner third of my eye. And then I'm going to take this hot pink and apply this on top so that it's more of like a, it's like a darker pink basically. But I still want it a little bit shimmer. And then I'm going to take this color from uh, ColourPop, it's called Too Shy. And I'm applying this to the center of my eyes, blending it in with the pink. And I'm going to take this purple from ColourPop and apply this to the outer V, also blending it in with the blue, and I'm just really patting and layering that. Then I'm going to take this black eyeshadow and apply this into the outer V, just so it's like a little bit smokier, and I'm blending that in with the other colors. Okay, so next I'm going to take this white liquid liner, this is from NYX, and I'm taking a bobby pin. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this white and this is gonna be like the stars, galaxy, whatever you wanna call it. Now, here's the thing, I kind of messed up here because I made the these dots way too big. I did fix it later on, but if you're gonna do this, make them tiny, teeny tiny because you don't want it to be like big white splatters. It just doesn't look that real. And then I'm gonna take this NYX, oh no, it's this BH Cosmetics Gold Glitter Liner and I'm just gonna apply this all over just like kind of messily because you know you don't want it to be perfect and too like structured and then I just apply mascara and falsies off camera so for my face I'm gonna take this Neutrogena healthy skin foundation but before that I'm gonna color correct with this peach corrector from Becca talking to my husband he was being annoying and making fun of me And then I'm gonna apply the foundation with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Um, this was, this foundation is, you know, just more dewy and natural looking, and I wanted more coverage, so I used the L'Oreal Pro Matte and applied this on top. As you can see, it's already like super flawless looking and much more full coverage. So. I'm gonna take this Makeup Forever palette, and I'm applying the kind of pale yellow color, and I'm applying this under my eyes to brighten it up. I'm going to apply this on my chin and my forehead and down the bridge of my nose. I'm also going to contour using the contour color very lightly. And then I took this um, LA Girl Yellow Corrector and I just used this to kind of brighten it up so that the you know concealer didn't look too ashy. And I'm just going to blend that with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And I'm going to take this Bedellium Overbrush and blending my contour with it. And then I'm just going to blend out my nose contour with this Kat Von D brush. And then I'm just going to set all that with my Wet n Wild Contour Duo and Caramel Toffee. Next, I'm going to line my eyes with my L'Oreal Extra Intense Liner. Look, I got a new one. My other one was a stub. <laughs> and then I'm going to blend that just to really smoke out my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of purple. Um, well, it's like a violet. What's the difference between violet and purple? I don't know. But yeah, I'm just gonna apply this to the bottom just to add a little bit more color. And then I'm gonna take the Steady Color Highlighting Trio and then just highlight the tops of my cheeks with this and down the bridge of my nose. For lips, I'm using the Stila Chianti uh, Liquid Lipstick. And then I'm taking the Stub Black Liner. This is the L'Oreal Extra Intense one. Look how tiny it got. But yeah, I'm just lining my lips with this and filling in just, just to darken up that purple. And that's it. That's the whole look. Um, this was part of my 100 Days of Makeup Challenge on Instagram. And I got so many requests to do a tutorial. So here it is. And if you're not following me on my Instagram, uh, you should. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.